With US President Donald Trump's India visit inching closer, all eyes were on the trade deal between the two nations. While critical issues are still not quite ironed out, persistent differences on sticky economic issues have cast a shadow over the prospect of a limited trade deal also now being signed during the visit. Trump uh, cast further doubts over the likelihood of an anticipated trade deal with India yesterday, saying that he is really saving the big deal for later on, adding that there was a possibility of a major deal being signed before the U.S. elections. We can have a trade deal with India, but I'm really saving the big deal for later on. We're doing a very big trade deal with India. We'll have it. I don't know if it'll be done before the election, but we'll have a very big deal with India. Uh, we're not treated very well by India, but I happen to like Prime Minister Modi a lot. And he told me we'll have 7 million people between the airport and the, and the event. And the stadium, I understand, is sort of semi under construction, but it's going to be the largest stadium in the world. So it's going to be very exciting. So what exactly is stopping this trade deal from happening between the U.S. and India? I spoke with U.S.-India Business Council head Nisha Desai Biswal. Firstly, Nisha, what are the areas of divergence still between India and U.S. on trade? Well, I mean, you've seen um, over the past year that there's been a lot of back and forth about uh, some of the areas where the U.S. and India seem to have fundamentally different approaches, whether it's on issues like data localization um, or, you know, on, on uh, you know, tariffs, uh, et cetera. Um, we have worked really hard with industry and government to try to resolve some of the concerns around uh, price controls in the medical device industry and, and, you know, had believed that we were at a point where there was a way forward. Uh, there's obviously a strong desire to see um, more market access uh, for American um, goods and uh, including agricultural products. Um, we know that there are concerns on the Indian side with respect to uh, dairy that have been under discussion between the two teams. Uh, but we also know that, you know, India uh, is a very important and big investor in the United States, is uh, growing uh, in terms of its own uh, um, um, company presence in the U.S. and wants to see uh, some um, addressing of some of the concerns that Indian companies have raised, uh, including with respect to immigration uh, concerns. And so I think that there are many, many issues mm -hmm. that have been under discussion by the two sides. Right. Uh, certainly the U.S. decision to revoke GSP mm. uh, has been something that the Indian side wanted to address. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and so whether there were too many issues to really get closure or or too much distance, mm. I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, we were hopeful that at least some subset of these issues might get uh, basketed together into a mini trade package. Okay. Um, what we're hearing okay. in, in the last couple of days is mm. that perhaps uh, it may not happen in time for the visit. So, you know, under the current circumstances, even when we are seeing uh, U.S. President Donald Trump now indicating that a trade deal cannot happen, but considering negotiations have been on, can GSP be restored for India at any stage? Well, I can't speak for what the conversations are between negotiators. I'm not privy to the inside uh, uh, discussions. All I can say is that certainly um, GSP has been important not only for uh, Indian exporters, but for American companies that have uh, um, been manufacturing in India and used India as a base for exports into the region. So um, from the perspective of the U.S. India Business Council and the U.S. Mm. Chamber, we're supportive of India's desire to restore GSP. Mm. Uh, I think on the U.S. Uh, government's perspective, um, while that uh, has been, you know, certainly on the table and under discussion. There's mm -hmm. also been a great emphasis on expanded market access for American products. And so mm -hmm. I imagine mm -hmm. that any any deal on GSP mm -hmm. would need to have enough mm -hmm. going in both directions for both sides mm -hmm. to uh, 
uh, agree um, to, okay. to the terms for restoration. Okay, Nisha, since we are unlikely to see a trade deal being signed when President Trump is in India, can we expect some elements of trade to be sorted out during this visit? For instance, uh, the Harley Davidson issue, something which uh, uh, President Trump has been miffed about. Uh, we are getting uh, uh, feelers from the Indian side that there could be some relaxation as far as uh, you know engine size is concerned for certain uh, vehicles, and that could include uh, uh, Harley Davidson as well. Well, I think we would certainly welcome that. I think, uh, you know, any any relaxation and lowering of, of tariffs would be a welcome thing. We want to see U.S.-India trade continue to grow in both directions. Uh, we've seen trade grow significantly over the last uh, four or five years uh, from about $100 billion in two-way trade and investment when I was in government uh, to nearly $150 billion is where we are today. Now, much, much more is possible, but it requires uh, for uh, policies that incentivize mm. trade and market access. And mm. so I think uh, if there are... Um, announcements that are made in in uh, with respect to the visit that help to create greater trade, whether it's in the energy sector, whether it's with Harleys, mm. uh, with medical devices, with agricultural products, etc. Mm. I think that we very very welcome news mm. and will put a positive, uh, you know, additional positive. Uh, a capstone to hmm. what is an important visit. Okay. Uh, we know that, for example, there's expectation of some additional announcements in the defense sector as well. Hmm. Uh, and so I think that these are these are important uh, signals about both countries' uh, perspective and prioritization of the U.S.-India economic hmm. partnership. So, if one were to compare trade deal with uh, defense deal, uh, would would you say that uh, you know defense deals, if they are sealed? could outweigh uh, the other? Well, I don't think I would frame it that way. Look, I think all progress is important and is positive and is desired. And so certainly moving forward on the U.S.-India uh, security partnership and uh, defense uh, collaboration is very, very important to the strategic relationship. We want to see India not only in terms of defense acquisitions for its own uh, military modernization, um, but also as India becomes more uh, consequential in the defense uh, uh, supply chain, more and more uh, companies will want to manufacture significant uh, systems in India, and that will allow India to also uh, become a manufacturing hub in the global uh, defense supply chain. That, I think, is an uh, important economic benefit. But fundamentally, uh, to allow India to really capture uh, its place and, and meet its potential in the global trade environment, um, India will need to open up uh, its markets, lower its tariffs, and create more incentives for companies to be able to make in India, assemble in India, Access to the Indian market is a very big aspect and incentive to making in India and assembling in India. So we'd like to see uh, those issues moved forward. Uh, trade deal would certainly help tremendously in that front. Unilateral measures by India are also most welcome as well. Cyberswal, many thanks for speaking with CNN News 18. In fact, uh, let's now take a look at what else are we likely to expect during U.S. President Donald Trump's and uh, First Lady Melania Trump's visit to India. They'll be arriving in Ahmedabad on the 24th of February for their two-day visit to India. And preparations are in full swing for the grand 22-kilometer Trump-Modi roadshow, which will witness participation of more than 50,000 people with tableaus of 28 states and union territories. Ahmedabad is all set to become a fortress on the day of Trump's visit as security agencies are cautious about uh, the roadshow route. Now, there'll be a seven-layer security that will be in place for Trump during the 25-minute long event. 
So Ahmedabad is all prepared for a grand welcome, a red carpet welcome that it's going to give to US President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump. Now it's a 22-kilometer road show uh, that's going to be held uh, for uh, Donald Trump along with uh, Prime Minister Modi, who will uh, be with him in that road show. Now let's take a look at the route that will be followed by the two leaders. First of all, uh, th the arrival is at the Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel Airport. From there, the Dafnala Cross uh, Road is uh, from where this uh, cavalcade will pass. Uh, they will cross the Sabarmati River front and then move over the Subhash Bridge. And finally, first stop of theirs will be the Sabarmati Ashram. They'll be spending a bit of time here. Uh, the Prime Minister will, of course, be explaining the significance of the Sabarmati Ashram uh, to the U.S. President Donald Trump, after which uh, the second leg of this road show will start. This will go in the opposite direction now going back rather on the same route and then going to the other side right to the Motera Stadium. So they'll go over once again over the Subhash Bridge, uh, then the Sabarmati River Front, the Dafnala Cross Road, uh, then the Airport Circle, Indra Bridge, uh, uh, the Bhat Koteshwar area will be crossed, finally the Motera Village and at the end, the Motera Stadium. It is here that the prime that uh, the U.S. President is going to be addressing a huge gathering of over one lakh ten thousand people. News 18 India's Janak Dave is now joining us on the phone line. Janak, पहले तो ये बताइए कि ये जो 22 किलोमीटर का stretch है, ये सिर्फ 25 मिनट में President Trump पूरा कर लेंगे. तो ये बिल्कुल फास्ट ट्रैक मोड में चलेगा अब कम से कम यही समझ में आ रहा है इससे तो बिल्कुल देखिए अहमदाबाद एयरपोर्ट से जब साबरमती आश्रम के लिए चलेंगे तो सात किलोमीटर का रास्ता है तो वो अमूमन सात से आठ मिनट के भीतर वो क्रॉस कर लेंगे और उतना ही रास्ता बारह चौदह किलोमीटर का रास्ता है जो वापिस आश्रम से लेके मोटर स्टेडियम तक का है वही उसी रफ्तार से चूंकि एयरपोर्ट तक वापिस जाना है उनको सात किलोमीटर का रास्ता वही जो है जो साबरमती आश्रम से एयरपोर्ट तक आना है तो दोनों छोर पर दोनों और लोग जब वेलकम कर रहे होंगे तो जिस तरीके से सड़कें मोटी चौड़ी बनाई गई है और जिस तरीके से रूट प्लान है वो बिल्कुल उसी तरीके से अंदाज लग रहा है कि तेज रफ्तार गाड़ियां निकलेगी सिक्योरिटी का कंसर्न भी रहेगा ऐसे में तेज रफ्तार गाड़ियां निकलेगी पंद्रह मिनट का समय दिया गया है जब साबरमती आश्रम में वहां पर प्रेसिडेंट ट्रंप उनकी पत्नी धर्म पत्नी मेलानिया और प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ये तीन लोग वहां पर होंगे और वापिस पंद्रह मिनट बाद आश्रम में सारी बारीकियों की जानकारी जो प्रधानमंत्री खुद बतौर गाइड के तौर पर प्रेसिडेंट ट्रंप को देंगे उसके बाद तीनों जो शख्सियत हैं वो वापिस स्टेडियम की ओर निकलेंगे तो कुल मिला के कहें कि 22 किलोमीटर का जो सफर है वो तकरीबन 45 मिनट के भीतर ही सब निपटाने का प्लान है पूरा करने का प्लान है क्योंकि जब साढ़े बारह बजे जब एयरपोर्ट पर लैंड करेंगे तो वहां उनको ग्रैंड वेलकम किया जाएगा गार्ड ऑफ ऑनर तीनों सेना की जो प्रमुख ब्रांच है उनकी ओर से गार्ड ऑफ ऑनर दिया जाएगा तो वहां तकरीबन पैंतालीस मिनट जितना वक्त लगेगा तो ये कुल मिला के रोड शो और उनका वेलकम का ये प्लान है उसके बाद मोटर स्टेडियम में वो जनता को संबोधित करेंगे जनक हमसे बात करने के लिए बहुत शुक्रिया जनक दवे रिपोर्टिंग फ्रॉम अहमदाबाद मीन वाइल अड ऑफ डोनल्ड ट्रम्प विजिट हिस्स presidential limousine known as the beast has arrived in india our executive editor zaka jacob tells us about this extraordinary luxury sedan now for starters it costs 1.5 million dollars making it easily the most expensive car in the world it can seat about 7 people at a time but that's probably the only similarity it has with any other ordinary limousine The beast is bullet and blast resistant. Uh it can in fact withstand any chemical or biological attack as well. The door handles can be electrified so that intruders do not get in. The beast is equipped to fire tear gas as well as put up smoke screens. It can even lay down an oil slick to send vehicles chasing it out of control. Now the vehicle has a secure oxygen system. It has a range of medical supplies as well. It also has a fridge full of President Trump's blood type. And believe it or not, the limo has its own airplane. It is flown in a C-17 Globemaster cargo plane to wherever Trump goes.